In this demo, we are going to show you how an administrator can delete the content associated to a particular version of a file from the, an RTC server. I will be using the Eclipse client, the Rational Team Concert client for Microsoft Visual Studio, and I will be also showing how that feature can be, uh, this task can be performed with a command line interface. So let's get started. First, I am going to uh, add some content to a file here. And maybe this content comes from a, a place I have copied and passed, and I was pretty, uh, some content maybe I should not have been, uh, I should have checked if it was okay for me to put it in the server or not, but I did not. So I checked that in. And then, so at that point, this uh, modified file has been checked in into a change set, a new change set here. And its content, its new content, has been uploaded into the uh, into the RTC server. And anyone who can access, who has visibility over that change set, uh, can access, can have a look and uh, at the change set and download this content here. Um, what I can do is I'm going to do some further changes to the file. I'm checking a new version into that file, into the same change set. And um, I can have a look in the compare editor. So I've added these two lines. I use two check-ins to do that. And um, I can deliver this change now. And now someone in my team has a, has, has a look at the change and it tell, they tell me that this is a really bad idea, that this content has not been approved by uh, by the IP or, uh, or maybe it's too big of a content, I should not be checking that into the server. Uh, they really decide that uh, it's important to reclaim, to, to get rid of that content physically from the server. Not just delete the file itself, um, which would just remove it from, uh, remove the item from the configuration of the workspace and the streams that uh, the changes that have been delivered to, but actually removing the content that is referred to by the, uh, the change in the change set, so that no one ever can download this uh, this change this content so the way you do that is you call your administrator and uh, i'm going to log in as uh, as an administrator of that server here and uh, you tell them where to look so in this case, we know the damage is uh, is limited to this particular file here. So we do a, we would look at the file history of that uh, of that file. So we could do a show history here. We can see a few changes there. And my last change set, the one that contains the bad content, is uh, is the last one. In a case that uh, it's not as simple, the, the damage maybe was found much later, maybe months or years later. Um, then you would look into turning the file history view into, you would toggle it into the show all in repository, which is going to show you all the change sets affecting this file uh, our, in the whole repository, not just copied to, to the particular workspace that, uh, that I'm looking at at this moment. And so the next thing I want to do is I want to delete the content refer, referenced by the, um, the files, the, the, the versions I have checked in, in that change set before it got completed. And to do that, we have a new feature I go to the view menu in the file history view and I go to show check-in history. So show check-in history, it gives you all the details you need to know about the particular change set that you particular change that you select in the top part here. So if I switch between different changes here for that file history, uh, you can see the bottom pane updates and uh, what it represents is it shows me um, the, the initial state of the change and the final state. And in case I had multiple check-ins to the change set before the change set got completed, then I will also see this, uh, this, uh, this intermediate check-ins. So even though as, as a user, typically once the change set has been completed, uh, typically I only care about the, uh, the, bef the initial set and the final state, uh, this, the SEM also remembers the previous, uh, the previous intermediate check-ins that you have performed. Uh, in case you want to um, 
to load them back, for example, if you want to, to come back to a previous check-in, that could be a very useful thing to do. You can also compare them if you wish uh, to have a look at in two successive check-ins that you did in the same chain set. Um, so in my case, I want to have a look at uh, this change here and this state as well. And I can see that both are very bad. Uh, I decided that both of them are very bad. So what I'm going to do as an administrator, I'm going to right click on the first one and I'm going to say delete content. So that's the new action that you have to be an administrator to run. Uh, we have a scary prompt to let you know that uh, the content will actually be removed from the repository and that um, it will not affect the uh, history itself because the chain sets are not affected by this feature. Uh, but the content that the chain set referred to will be uh, removed from the physically from the database. So I go ahead and I say delete. And the check-in history pane has updated. Uh, the, this row is now grayed out uh, because the content that it refers to has been removed. And uh, it tells me that it was deleted by admin and it tells me when it was deleted by admin. And I can go ahead and I can delete uh, this. Uh, if I wish to, I can repeat the same thing, the same action and delete uh, this other content as well. So at that point, if I close the existing editors here, what it means is if someone has access, is looking at the history of that file um, and they double click on a click on, on a change to, to open it up in a compare editor, the um, compare editor will tell them that the, um, the content has been, uh, has been deleted. So it's telling me that the content has been deleted from the repository, and uh, you don't have access to the uh, to the uh, to the, af the to the changes after the uh, the change was done. You only have access to the previous state, which I haven't deleted, which is the one here. And uh, the same, if I try to uh, to load the content, um, I will be told that the the file is gone. So the content has been physically removed from the database. That was the demo from the Eclipse client, and uh, the same the, the same workflow is available from the Rational Team Concert for Max or Visual Studio. So this is the Max or Visual Studio client. You can right click uh, in the Solution Explorer. You can right click on the file and um, bring up the uh, show history. Uh, you will see the, as usual, you will see the list of changes for that file. You can turn on the show check-in history, which is going to give you the details about each version th that has been found in that has been found in that change. So that gives you access to the um, initial state of the change, a first check-in into that change, and the last check-in into that change before the change set was completed. So. Uh, we can also see that these two rows have been grayed out. That means that someone has already deleted that uh, the content associated to these states. That was for the Max of Visual Studio client part. And if you are using the command line interface, um, what you would do is you would use uh, three commands. So the first command you would use is the um, you run the history command on the file that is probably loaded in your sandbox. And you would, the, the command would give you uh, the output uh, list of chain sets, such as this one, that affect this, uh, this file. And then you would uh, run a new command, list states, on that chain set, so that you can have access to every um, version, every state that has been checked in, into that uh, chain set before the, uh, for that item, before the chain set was completed or delivered. So in this case, we can see that uh, this change uh, only has two states, the initial and the, and the final one. Uh, you can decide which state is the one that you need, need to delete the content for. And once you have made up your choice, your, your mind, uh, you run a new command, the delete state content, where you specify the, um, the item and the state that you wish to, uh, to delete the content for and the content let the, 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 the command lets you know that uh, the operation was successful. So the, you can run the command one more time 
uh, list states so that you can uh, have a look and it will now let you know that the uh, the state that you have uh, you have to had selected its content has been deleted by by yourself as admin uh, and the date.